Let's uh, get you the latest uh, from uh, Taiwan, a major earthquake with a magnitude of 7.7 .7 struck off uh, the eastern coast of Taiwan this morning, prompting a tsunami warning which was later downgraded. Now one person has died and 50 others have been injured in uh, the strongest quake that we've seen in over 25 years. We're talking about a 7.7 .7 magnitude. The powerful earthquake struck off Taiwan, rocking the entire island and collapsing buildings. 80,000 buildings are said to be without power. Uh, the epicenter is located about 18 kilometers south of the city of Hualin. Several aftershocks were also felt uh, as far as Taiwan is concerned, including a one that was registered uh, uh, of a magnitude of a 6.5. Uh, this is the strongest earthquake. The last time we saw such a strong earthquake was back in 1999 when a 7.6 uh, magnitude earthquake uh, shook uh, Taiwan, in which uh, over 2,000 people were killed and 10,000 people were injured. Train services have been impacted uh, and this is according to reports, uh, things are quickly returning to normal as far as the capital is concerned. Is uh, What we're hearing is that schools uh, have also resumed from this morning. We have Roger Liu, uh, the Chief Executive Officer Research Institute for Democracy, Society and Emerging Technology, joining us uh, from Taipei. Uh, well, uh, Roger, uh, take us through the devastation around you. What are the authorities saying? Uh, what about the kind of assistance that is being provided? We don't know one person has died and over 50 have been injured. Hi, uh, Divya. Thank you for reaching out. Um, this earthquake took place at uh, 7.50 in the morning, and before that, actually, the Taiwanese authorities, the government has sent out the na nationwide uh, um, messages to uh, everybody's uh, cell phone or mobile phone. So we got it like um, 30 seconds before, so we uh, had the time to take cover, but um, this earthquake, um, I can tell you that this is the biggest one that I've experienced after the uh, the one that I had 25 years before. So, um, well, it rocked really hard. So, um, uh, well, it, it happened during the commute time. So people was in a chaotic situation. They had to switch from the metro system to the uh, bus on the surface of the road because the metro system was stopped for like 20 minutes. But after that, every, very quick, everything was just returned to normal and people were, uh, they got a notice that they still need to work. So they are rushing for their offices. Um, I think, um, well, we have all, only local damages. Um, the, near the epicenter, the Hualien County, actually, the, those, who, uh, those pictures and the video clips that you have seen on the, that you have shown on the screen, this happened in the eastern part of the Hualien County. Uh, very close to the epicenter. So um, uh, some uh, buildings has collapsed, but um, according to the authorities and the news so far, every uh, there is not uh, many casualties happening. So we hope everything is fine. Right, uh, Roger, uh, you know, when we talk about uh, the 1999 uh, earthquake, when uh, 2,500 people were killed, over 10,000 were injured, do you feel many lessons were learned from them and which is why life seems to be coming back to normal very soon after this disaster struck? Yeah, you know, as a Taiwanese, earthquake actually is a daily happening. So people are quite used to that. So if you check from the uh, variety of uh, video clips on Twitter or any other social portal, you will find that people are kind of uh, composed when they are experiencing that. So uh, like you said, after, uh, I mean, uh, after we experienced the, the big one happening in 1999, 25 years ago, when I was a graduate student, I experienced that. It was really a big one. So after that, um, well, actually, uh, the Taiwanese people and the government learn much from that because we have uh, leveled up uh, the earthquake-proof uh, uh, architecture standard and people are more aware and we have some you know more awareness um uh, when this happens people know where to take cover and uh how how, how to uh, avoid being hurt so i think uh, people are quite prepared after that right uh, roger also a tsunami warning was triggered right after the earthquake which seems to have been downgraded now uh, yes, um, on the, actually on the eastern coast of Taiwan, it's uh, the, usually the rocky coast. So uh, they are naturally protected, protected away from the, uh, the tsunamis. But what is, the places that need to worry about the tsunamis actually are on the other side of the strait, which is Japan. So uh, in Okinawa, actually, they uh, issued the, the Japanese uh, 
weather agencies they have issued the tsunami warning, but now it has rescinded because um, it doesn't seem to cause a lot of damages. So you're trying to tell me uh, that a 7.7 magnitude earthquake, uh, stronger than what you saw in 1999, the biggest in your memory, uh, uh, the devastation uh, has been minimal in comparison to what really happened back then. Uh, of course, these are just initial reports. We're just still going to wait uh, for more reports to come as far as uh, uh, the extent of damage and casualties is concerned. For now, we know one person has died, over 50 have been injured. Uh, 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 how is it, uh, uh, you know, what kind of measures has the government put into place? What kind of mindset do the people have? You told me that people have not really been, uh, haven't really panicked in this situation and have in fact gone back to work. Uh, children have gone to school this morning. Well, I, I think that... Um the situation that people can still be uh, calm has to be attributed to the uh, the elevation of the quality of the architectures. So, as you've seen from the um, the video clips from different sources, uh, most of the building, ninety nine point ninety percent of the building and the infrastructures are remain intact. So, um, people are quiet. Um, they uh, have high trust, high level of trust into the uh, quality of the infrastructures. That's why they can remain calm during the, the earthquake, which is very much different from the one that took in, taking place like uh, 25 years before when we saw a lot of uh, buildings collapsed and uh, people are trapped under the collapsed buildings and rubrics. So um, I think that's that's an important thing for us to upgrade the, the hardware and the software as well. Right, uh, Roger. So we can see how resilient, uh, 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 you know, the population is. Take us through, uh, you know, we're talking about uh, 23 million people. Uh, the area where this earthquake struck, uh, it's not, that is the epicenter. How populous was it? And you taking us through the timing of this. Of course, this was rush hour. People were perhaps going uh, to work and uh, probably dropping off their kids to school. Uh, so, uh, you know, when people are in their cars, uh, 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 take us through the impact of such an earthquake. Well, um, usually the eastern part of Taiwan is the place that you see frequent earthquake because it's on the fault line between the two uh, te tectonic plates of East Asia. So uh, usually most of the big earthquake comes from there. And uh, because when it goes to Taipei, Taipei is the basin. Basin has some kind of uh, uh, co-existing uh, effect that will actually amplify the, the shakes of the earthquake from far away. And Taipei is the capital of Taiwan, uh, uh, resided by like 4 million people. And during the time of commute, actually, most of the people are on the, on, are on the commute system, either on the metro, on the bus, or on taxis. So the, most of the people can feel the earthquake. But um, I think that's lucky because, um, well, that's a time that people know where to run and they can keep calm because they are with each other. And uh, as you can see, it shows the great social bondage of the Taiwanese people as well. So that's why, um, uh, according to uh, the Pew Research, Taiwan has the most, the strongest sense of society uh, as a whole uh, because of it its um, uh, long-term development as an island. So I think this social bondage actually helped the Taiwanese people to face different disasters, including the earthquake and the challenge from China as well. Right, uh, uh, very exemplary uh, as far as uh, the population of Taiwan is concerned, going back to work, going back to school on a day that uh, calamity that has uh, struck uh, millions in uh, Taiwan. Thank you so much, Roger Lu, for joining us with Thank all you. those details.